guys so I decided to just play with the Jaclyn Hill palette just decided to see what look I can come up with and I saw the blue one so I automatically knew that I wanted to do an eye look with the blue one it is a beautiful bold color so this is the look that I came up with so if you guys want to see how I created this look then just keep on watching so I'm gonna go in with this one as my um, all lid color. Put it all right there. This one can be sloppy because this is gonna go all over, especially in the crease and a little bit above. So it doesn't matter if we put it on your eyelids, just so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this brush right here, which is the E25 from Sigma. And just to darken the crease a little bit more, I'm going to get this one right here. Right there. And I'm going to dip it in like this. I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it like this. I'm going to dip it straight in like that. And I'm going to, that's when I'm going to create my crease. Very, at the very tip, you want to do this. You don't want to put it in like this because it will be a very harsh line. If you do it outer, and then barely touch it but swipe it, you'll create an illusion of a higher crease. Your eyes will look lifted, and you will look awake, and you'll look healthy instead of having your eyes drag down and, and make them look droopy. So i done this one right here. Very gentle. And then with no additional product, go back with that original transition blending and then just go back to blend so we can look blend together. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to grab the balloon color. You want to do this before you do your foundation just because there is fallout and you're doing a dark eye it's gonna get all over here um, since I've already had makeup on at the end of the day I thought I'd play with this before I wash off my makeup and go to bed it is already late okay so I'm gonna go back with the first transition color that I did and go back on the crease and go back and blend that so it doesn't look You have one color on top of the other, you want it to blend all together. Go back with the transition color, which is a darker shade, and go in there in the crease line and just blend it so there's no harsh line with the blue. And then you're, just, you're gonna just be blending and going back and forth, back and forth. So then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my blending brush that I like to use. What are you? I just saw you. It is a Sigma E45 brush. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in with these two dark colors right here. And then just on the corner. And the key to this look is going to be blending till your hand hurts and till your wrist cramps up. Because it's not going to look good if you don't blend. Because it's just going to look like you just either just slapped on a bunch of makeup or you just layered it instead of having them blend together that's the whole point of like the transition colors and then the crease colors and the outer corner colors i know it's a lot of steps but if you want this look to be put together this is the the steps so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with the clinic uh, chocolate brown And then on the waterline and then blend 
it together. I can get a pencil brush, which is one of my favorite brushes to use, which I thought I had it right here. I do with Heidi, it's like very tiny. It's one of these little brushes. It's the pencil E30. So I'll go back in with that same color and kind of smudge it a little more um, under the lash line. And then what I'll do is get a, a small angled brush, go in with the blue, and then do my And I'm going to tap the powder in there. I am not going to smudge it. That way, it, since it's powder, you can like, uh, basically set it. I already went in with my brown eyeliner. So this one, I'm just setting the powder. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is get this, my eyeliner, create a small little wing because I just... Nothing too dramatic because you're going to put lashes on. So it's just going to be a small little wing like that. But I'll be right back because I'm going to do my other eye and then I will show you the final look. So I finished the look. I just added the light color on the top of the um, brow bone. Uh, the one that I added was this color right here. And in my inner corners, I put some lashes on, which are the 155 from um, eye lore that I was telling y'all about in my last video that I absolutely love and I paired it with a nude lipstick um, so I hope you guys enjoy please subscribe if you haven't already